you something that I can really only do once a year, and that is I want to take a look at and react to all of the new liveries for the 2023 Formula One season. Now, I'm a very, very casual F1 fan. I watch maybe two to three races a season. That's it. So I'm not an extremely hardcore fan. Um, I do follow Ferrari a little bit. Ferrari had a great start to last season and then just kind of fell off a cliff. Red Bull ends up winning. Um, Red Bull and Max Verstappen winning uh, last season. But all of the new liveries have been released, so I want to go through and look at them. Tell you what I think of them. Go S A B C D F. I've done it before on jerseys, things like that. Also, I'm going to be doing another video, hopefully this week, reacting to the NRL jerseys, the National Rugby League, the rugby league here in Australia, uh, which I'm going to be starting to get into now that I live here. I want to get into rugby. So I'd be talking about rugby stuff on this channel a little bit. I don't know yet, but we'll see how it goes. So our first car up is the Alpine. I move myself there, the Alpine. I really love this. I love the pink because the pink is the, uh, it, uh, it kind of reminds me of the, what was that, Force India racing point. Who was that that was all pink? The team that became Aston Martin. I can't remember what they're called, but I love that. The pink with the blue. You guys know pink is one of my favorite colors. What is like my favorite color? You have some black in there as well. There's some geometric patterns there on the back side. Alpine. You have the BWT sponsorship. Microsoft Castrol. That looks really nice. This one looks a little bit different. The car, the blue replaced most of the bumper with the all pink look used for just the opening three Grand Prix, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and Australia. Okay, so the all pink is gonna just be used. I kinda like the all pink better. Well, you guys probably knew that I would. This one's really good. I'm gonna give this a uh, I'm gonna give this a B, like a B plus. But this all pink one here with the, the pink and the black, I'm gonna give that one an S. I love this one. Also, I wonder how much tickets are to the Australia Grand Prix. That would be really cool to go to. I do not know how much that'd be, probably extremely expensive, but I love to look at this. Yeah, S, S for the all pink. B plus, B plus for the pink and blue. All right, moving on, we have the Mercedes, classic Mercedes, all black. You have this nice, like, I don't even know what you'd call this color, greenish blue. I'm sure there's a name for this color, but it's, it's so bright, it like almost looks like it's glowing. It looks just absolutely amazing. Um, you have the little bit of red around the, um, is that the intake there? The air intake. The yellow numbers. So this is Lewis Hamilton's car. The yellow, I don't know what this part of the car would be called, but you have yellow there, some yellow there. A little bit of a geometric pattern at the back. Okay, but the other car, the, um, What's his name? George. Oh, I can't remember his name right now. It's George something. His is in green instead of yellow, and he has green accents there. Okay, so Lewis has yellow, and George has George Russell. There we go. I really like this all black look. Um, I love this swoop through this. 
is this geometric pattern it's okay um, the front is really nice I like the different colors for the two drivers I'm gonna give this a B beans above average now here comes the Ferrari Charles Leclerc my favorite driver in F1 I cheer for Ferrari pretty much um, you knew the car was gonna be red these are really low quality images this is our best looking one you have the red you have this black carbon fiber there I am very happy that they do not have the big ugly green um, I forget who that sponsor was they had the green badge on there but I'm glad that's gone the black and the red this is just classy these are really low quality images it's kind of upsetting I like the, the Italian flag here at the back and the carbon fiber it's sexy it's classic but it is also a little boring you know like I like Ferrari but this is a little boring um, you knew they were gonna do it but I'm just gonna give this a C I would say this is just about average um, I know who's this Aston Martin okay Aston Martin this is nice I like that shade of green I think it's a little bit lighter than their shade of green last season um, you have this yellow swoosh going through the design here um, maybe it's a little plain looking though it is a little plain I kind of feel like how I feel about the Ferrari one on this is that a different shade is that black or is that a different shade of green I think that might be a darker shade of green and not black down there but it might just be black and weird lighting the front here is black it's a, it's a little boring um, I'm gonna give this a C I'm gonna give it a C alright now we have the McLaren sorry for that boss I'm back okay we're on to McLaren the Google Chrome sponsorship and then the colors around the wheel that's actually so cool wow that is so cool I actually love that the orange of course the black the hints of blue I think this is my second favorite one so far behind the all pink alpine I think this is my favorite one orange you know McLaren always looks nice the orange it's like such an underused color in all sports really but it always looks good on the cars the hits of blue I think like kind of bring out the orange and that chrome sponsorship with that just elevates it so much honestly I'm giving this one an A I'm giving this an A right here it's a uh, very good not quite S tier but an A even if the chrome logo up here on uh, whatever these are called the uh, tire covers all right now we have the Alpha Towery I always love the Alpha Towery cars um, I like Alpha Towery more than Red Bull I, you know I know they're basically the same team but I think Alpha Tauri always looks nicer look at those wheels you have like these kind of speed lines there the Italian flag here on the front uh, I don't know fender bumper I'm not good with the wing maybe and then you have that Alpha Tauri logo there on the on the back near the intake This is really nice. It's not super flashy. It's very clean, but it looks really nice. You have the Honda there, Alpha Tauri. The 
don't know if it's got a sponsorships on here. It's a very clean look. I like this one quite a bit. I'm gonna give this a B. Not quite a B plus, but it's close. But I love that it's a red too. The, you know that nice dark blue. Yeah, that's a B for me. I really enjoy that. Now we get to the Alpha Romeo. They're sponsored by Steak. Of course, you have the red. We have a lot of black on this car too. I like this. This like split the black here with the red at the back and the front. And in this like cockpit area, the all black there. I think that's really nice. Honestly, I kind of like this more than the Ferrari. If I'm being honest, I like this one more than the Ferrari. I think it's still a little boring. And they have way too many sponsorships on here. They have steak all over this car. So it's kind of, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, like, just in this front view, there's like 23, and there's like a bunch of these all down the side, that's a bit excessive, I like the Alfa Romeo on the back of the tail, that's really nice, but uh, I'm gonna give this like a, a C plus slash B minus, it's like right on that line. I do like this better than the Ferrari. But like C plus or a B minus, I would say it's right around slightly above average, but not by much. Williams. Uh, I thought Williams might not be racing this season. Uh, or maybe they sold to somebody. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. This is the only view we have of it kind of disappointing. I don't have much to go off of. I like these arrows on the wheel. That's really cool. I'm sure that looks really cool in motion too. It'll kind of look like a blue blur sort of. The side is very clean. Not a ton of sponsorships. I like the Duracell. How you have the black and then like that orange coppery color. Like the intake almost looks like a battery. I think that's really cool. It's like you're working the sponsorship into the design of the car. I think that's an awesome touch. Um, but again, there just isn't enough pictures here to really give me a good idea of what this looks like. So because of that, I'm just gonna go see. Um, but I do like how clean it is. Maybe like a C plus even, but I just wish I had more pictures here. The Haas, the Haas. Okay, it's, is, is Mick Schumacher even driving for them this season? Is he? Well, I really hope he is. I was really looking forward to watching Mick. That was like one of my, mm, Money Graham, okay. Haas, big Haas on the side, that's nice. You have the white and the red, a lot of black. Again, this is our only picture of it, okay. Haas on the rear tail here. It's nice. I feel like the Haas always looks nice, though. It doesn't perform well, but it always looks nice. Um, for me, I'm going to give this a B. I really like the white, where it's like the red almost kind of gives it depth, like a drop shadow, even if that's like a weird explanation, but... Kind of looks like a drop shadow of sorts on there. But I want to give that a B. I like the Haas. Uh, are we missing one? I think we're missing one. Where is Red Bull? I don't see Red Bull on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where is the Red Bull? Um, maybe it'll be on here, hopefully. The Haas, we saw that. Okay, here's the Red Bull. Only one picture, okay. Um, all right, here we go with the Red Bull. This is nice. It's a bit boring. It's clean. I like 
the Alpha Tauri better. The Red Bull there, that, that looks good. The Hard Rock on the, the tire covers, that's just what I'm going to call them. It's nice. Um, all black, except for the, like the Red Bull logos, a little bit of color on that intake, a little bit of color on the wheel, not much, a couple hits of red, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? I'm going to give that one a uh, C, I'm going to give that one a C, it's a bit boring, I wish they would have done a bit more, especially like coming off winning back to back. I feel like they should do a little bit more, but whatever. That that uh, that is my rankings of the F1 liveries. Um, I'm sorry, this video was a little bit short. I wish I had more to say about them. Uh, it's also only ten teams, right? So, but um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get uh, the same sort of thing, but for NRL jerseys coming out. Um, hopefully this week, but definitely next week, if not. Um, so if you like this sort of thing, keep your eyes open for that. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content, just like this, almost every single day. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>